everyone, my name is Dave Partner. The way to make money from business has stayed the same all over the ages and all over the world. It has not changed. And here is it. Build an interesting product. And then automatically you have two sets of products and two sets of customers. Then you decide who to charge. Now look at it. If you build an interesting product, people will gather to gain access to the product. They will gather around the product. So you can decide to charge these guys by putting a gate between your product and these people that are gathering to access it. And then the next set of customers you have are the people that are coming to advertise, the advertisers. So you charge them to gain access to advertise to your users, the people that are gathering to gain access to your product. So the advertisers are not advertising to the product. They don't want access to the product. They want access to the users. So the users are now your second set of products. And the users and the advertisers are your two sets of customers. So you can decide which of those customers you want to charge or whether to charge both of them at the same time. For instance, you can charge the people that are gain, trying to gain access to your product or you charge the people that are coming to advertise to them. Facebook, for instance, what does Facebook do? Facebook doesn't charge people that gain access to Facebook. They have, they have built an interesting product, which is Facebook, and 1.3 billion people access Facebook. Now, who do they charge? They charge the advertisers. And that has worked out for them perfectly. Now, the next example that many people don't observe is football. How do people make money from football, for instance? Corporations spend money on players and coaches and referees and stuff like that and they build an interesting sport or game called football. Now that is very interesting. What they do is now they spend more money and build a stadium around the football. And no matter how big that stadium is, remember what I told you about gates. There will, there will always be a small gate where if you want to access the interesting football, you have to pass through this gate and pay them. Do you understand? So the next example is, for instance, the airline business. We have someone spends money to buy planes and then they build an airport. And then if you want to access the planes, what do you do? You have to pass through a small gate where you have to pay to access the planes. Do you understand? It's, it's basic and it's the same thing. An armed robber points a gun to your head and says, give me your money. Of, automatically, you, you understand, of course, that they have got something of interest to you which is your life is already in their hand now if you want to access your life you pay now they are using it for an evil means but it is the same principle now you have to look back at your product as how interesting is my product there is an, a relationship between how interesting the product is and how many customers gather to access it if the product is very interesting people will gather look at um, um, Toyota for instance or Tesla look at how many people that are, are queuing up to get a Tesla car when they want to release an uh, I, iPhone look at how many people that queue up to get an iPhone it's an interesting stuff so there's a relationship between how interesting the product is and the number of people that gather and now there's a relationship between the number of people that gather to assess that product and the amount of sales you make, the revenue you make, the profit you make, and the amount of lives you ever get to touch. So if you want to touch more lives, make more profit, more sales, more revenue, you have to make the product more interesting. So look at, look back at your product, your product right now and say, hey, is your product interesting? How can you make it more interesting? How can you make it more appealing? How can you increase the interest level, if I might put it that way? Alright, thank you very much. My name is Dave Partner. I hope this video has blessed you. Click on the like and the share button. And if you're on YouTube, there's a red button at the bottom. Click on that subscribe button and um, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.